means having a part of their childhood spent watching Fatin Hamama's films and series. Back in the 1950s, she was the one who taught girls the meaning of class and beauty and gave boys an image of the girl they loved the most. Her love story with the famous actor Omar al-Sharif was the Egyptian virgin of Romeo and Juliet and to watch an interview of hers on the TV was a big event. Non, j'étais chez mon père, j'ai pleuré, je lui dis je ne veux plus travailler au cinéma. Évidemment, j'ai pas osé lui dire pourquoi parce que Hamama closed her eyes for the last time last on Saturday at the age of 84, leaving behind millions of beloved and loyal fans crying for their loss. screen and was one of Egypt's most prominent actresses from the 1950s to early 70s. She was born in a small village near the Ahleya, northwest Egypt in 1931. She started her path on the silver screen in 1940 when she was just nine years old, appearing in the film Nahar Saeed, A Happy Day. She met the famous Egyptian actor Omar al-Sharif when they were shooting the film Sira' al Wadi, A Conflict in the Valley, together. And they fell deeply in love. So much so that Omar al-Sharif converted to Islam to marry her. Hamama was known to discuss social problems in her work, such as in the famous film Imbraturiyat Meme, The M Empire. In this, she played the role of a single mother caring for six children of varying ages, whilst also trying to live a life separate from her responsibility towards them. Also, there was the film of Wehwa Arenib, Mouths and Rabbits, where she discussed the problem of birth control in the countryside. <laughs> 